Welcome to another week of Don's Exposed. We're talking about the big game players. We're talking about big game, big players. Yeah, I know, I know, I just realised that. <laughs> Welcome to another week of Don's Exposed. We're talking about the Don's this week. Son, shut up. <laughs> Welcome to another week of Don's Exposed. I'm Big G the Skipper. This is Don Strapsy. We're talking about the way that the Dons are winning and who they're playing. This week we played Bickley. It was another league game. So far the Dons have played three league games. Two wins, one loss. What you got to tell us, Donny? Opposition Bickley. What do we know about Bickley? What we do know is for the past two years, they've won this division. Yes. They're almost in the Bromley District League and that's no joke of a league to win. They've had a bad start to the season. They haven't won this season, which is confusing to a lot of people in the league. But we can never, ever take Bickley lightly. This ain't the first time we've met them, so what do we know about them from the last time we played them? <clears throat> what we know is they're a tough team. They'll, they'll give us 90 minutes. They're physical. They're organised. They're, I'm a big fan of, the, of Bickley, I think they're a very good team, so I didn't expect this to be an easy game whatsoever. I'll make it six points when we win today. The win today gave us yeah, six points, you love seeing it now, exactly. so the so, win gave us six points. We've beaten them twice in the league, and Bickley's a team where we analyse at the start of the year saying if we can get four points yeah. on them we'll be happy with it, so six points is good. Last time we played them, one of their players got sent off, they had all the excuses obviously, So, and they were saying that their players missing, this, that. What was the reaction after the loss today? Just face it, you're not going to be playing that league, just face it. You're not gonna be famous, just give it up. What well, from Bickley? Just face You're not gonna be famous, just, just face what? Let me see. You're not from Bickley, no, are they, they, were, they weren't happy, man, but no one should be happy. You know, things get said throughout the games from both teams, so you know, it is what it is. So we've gone for 4 2 3 1. Still no big G in goal, we've got Jazz in goal. Left back, we had Tyrone. Two centre backs, we've got Lamar and Dr. Martin. Right back, we had JR. Our two midfielders, we have SK in the holding role. We've got Dean Yo back for, we haven't had him for a long time, but he's back. We've got King playing on the left side, Floss playing on the right side, Dolby in the 10, with Zach Anser by himself up top. On the bench, we had Ramel, Scotty, Monts, and Nathan Palmer. So many people have left in the comments <laughs> last week, they're Don's strongest 11. Tyrone possibly wouldn't have featured. Aziz would have been the first choice left back. What was the reason behind Tyrone starting today and how do you think he'd done? Um, Aziz didn't show up. Um, he was had a late night the night before. You know. Guernsey, weren't it? Yeah. But all the other boys made it. <clears throat> well, you know, that's how it goes. Good thing is we had Tyrone last minutes to step in. So I think he's done a fantastic job. Tyrone, everyone knows he's one of the young lads, Ryan's little brother. His attitude is always spot on. He doesn't always start, doesn't even always get on. We needed him and I think he's done a fantastic job. He did. I think he's done a fantastic job under pressure, in a pressure game as well, where we're playing on a pitch which is virtually unplayable. Um, I think he's done really well. Um, Let me stop you there. Golden Boot ain't in the starting lineup. Golden boot. We're talking Nathan Palmer, the Don's top goal scorer this season. I'm gonna have to stop you there. What? What's that about? Usually the first on the team sheet. He just keep show, he keeps showing up late. You keep showing up late, Nathan. Boo! You keep showing up late. Boo! They need to come on time. You know, people. Yeah, um, take the jokes aside. Yeah, yeah. all banter yeah. aside. Yeah. We're the Listen, first ones there every week. We're the first ones there every week, even though we're not playing. Listen, meet time's 9:30. Boys have got to be there for 9:30. When they're turning up at 10, 10 past 10, it's not fair on the lads that are there warming up. That's the reason why we put Nathan Palmer on the bench. Um, but we all saw what he done when he came no, up. He showed his Be on time, Nathan. That's all we're asking, Nathan. N Nad is never late. <laughs> Mate, so yeah, that's why Nathan Palmer started on the bench anyway. We're doing a pitch inspection before games and we're disappointed. Yeah. W what's, what's going on with the home ground? Pitch is shocking, man. It's the jungle though. And it's just, this is grassroots Sunday League football. What we can tell you is there will always be a game regardless. When games are getting postponed, there's always a game at jungle. But yeah, look, the pitch is bad, man. And we know that and we've analysed that and we're looking at it and we're trying our best to possibly get a different pitch, but however, I want to thank everyone at the yeah. jungle. Oh, no, all the supporters are turning up, the you know family. I mean? So for now, we're at the jungle, you know, but at the end of the day, they're playing on the same pitch as us. Yeah. Uh, one nil down, we need a quick response. It's that man again. Who? Zach Ansar. <laughs> we're lucky to have him. Put him up top by himself today in a 4-2-3-1, because his hold-up play is immaculate. He so brings people into the game. He brings people into play, and you won't always see it in the episodes, because sometimes things he does is quite boring. But it's, it's the boring stuff that makes things happen. Yeah, he's banged one away, he's made it 1-1. Zach Hans is one of those players. He is the most dangerous man in the non-league game right now. He's only playing it out of the love of the game, the politics that have been at the top. And you can see a man who's expressing himself. Zach Anson walks on the pitch, smiling, whispering. You barely see him, you barely hear him. Thank you for being a Don's player. Let's just have another watch. To get fooled like a young Cafu who's whipped it in. King has got his toe to it. It's Zach Hans! Yeah!
Oh, we got someone special. Oh, we got someone special. It's Therese. It's Mr. Therese. Um, he started on the bench today. He didn't come on at half time either. Saw that Dino was a bit tired. We've taken him off. It's, it's, is Monto a big game, big player though? I think he's proved he is. I think he's proved that he is. That like, he did man of the month player of the month this, this month was SK. Yeah, SK got But it. I think Mons has had a fantastic month. Yeah. Credit um, to you for that. Yeah. Credit to you. So let's just have a little look at his goal. It's too easy. Wow. It's two two. We need someone to break a line. Mons receives the ball, nicks it into, uh, I believe, no, Nathan Palmer. He, yeah, he sets it. Nathan Palmer knocks it back to Mons, he sets it up, and we've got Dolby. However, he had a lot more to do. Talk us through it. Big game, big players. We're talking about the major sign of the summer. This left foot is legendary in the Sunday League game. He's a man that could play on a Saturday, play semi-pro. He's a Sunday League legend. And do you know what we've done? We've blown the budget on him. Let's look at the clip again. Out at the moment, he looks up. He's got Nathan Palmer who just sets it back to him. It's a great one time pass, it's fantastic football. It's Dolby's through and goal. Can he tuck away his lunchbox? Can he keep his composure? Ah! All right, so you're at that point of the show where we analyze a certain players, a few clips from a certain player's performance. Who have we gone for this day for player cam? So, the player cam we've gone today is our right back today, Junior James, aka JR. He's our assistant coach, he's our tactical genius. The thing about JR is a utility player. It will play where we want him to play. He's come in and he's filled in at right back. I think what he done very well today is he gave us an outlet, especially in the first half. He was he was, he was going in, down the line. He was he's a new school yeah. fullback. He's attacking and attacking. Most of our joy came from the right side. A player like Jr. wants to play for the football club, so that actually means you're going to get more out of him. There's a yeah. lot of football players that, like you say, they play for the opposition side, but the club means nothing to him. Jr.'s preferred position is striker, yeah, or like a ten. That's his preferred position. But he wants to play for the Dons. And he, it's the mentality. It's like, the mentality. When, I tell, when I tell you to Joe, you're playing right back, you'll laugh, ah oh, man, but he'll play anywhere that we ask him to play, he will play. That's the mentality we're trying to breed. Man of the match, I think it's a unanimous decision. Our man of the match this week, the birthday boy. Yes, yeah, that's right. The boy that scored the winning, the winning goal. It's him. It's him. It's personal to Dolby. He's played in this league. He's won things at this level. His reputation rings around the streets. That left foot's a wand. Ryan Dolby. Ryan Dolby. And there you have it. I've been Donny Jones. I've been Big G. The Dons have now been exposed. They laughed at me. So I put on a jumper. SK, you got the armband till I'm back. In the next eight to 12 months, Donny Jones will be returning on the football pitch. The midfielders, there's going to be a man who wants to play for this football club more than you. I'm sorry, Donny Jones wants it more. Ah, uh, what's happened? Sexy girl, man. Cooler. Hello. <laughs> Too busy being successful. I've got red eyes from on this camera, bro. Bloodshot eyes. I ain't got red eyes. Anything, anything. We do what dons do. Longest name, anything.